Marcus Rashford is considered one of the best players of his generation and has continued to make his mark on the football world. At just 23, Rashford can boast of having already won the Europa League, the English League Cup, and to continually play at the top of the Premier League. As Manchester United star player Marcus Rashford has enchanted fans of the game, but his exploits now go beyond the realm of football. His classy actions command esteem and can inspire all fans of the sport to follow suit. A major mission for United's number 10 to fight against food insecurity which affects one in five children in England. How did the young Englishman manage to bend the English government? This is what we'll see in this video. Subscribe to Megafoot, the best of football in video. This cause, this humanitarian mission is of particular concern to Marcus Rashford and his mother Melanie, who regularly accompanies him in his associative endeavours. This commitment has its origins in his childhood. Along with his mother Melanie and his brothers, the young Marcus grew up in Wivenshaw, a working-class neighbourhood in the south of Manchester. As a child of the Free Mills, he benefited from Free Mills during his youth, a time that has marked him and he has not forgotten. Aware of where he comes from, it seems unimaginable for Rashford not to help the country's young people in his turn. And for the time being, English youth is in dire need of it. Across the UK, nearly 4.2 million children live below the poverty line, which represents nearly 30% of young British children. This is a disturbing fact, and one that has influenced Marcus Rashford to take action. In June 2020, Rash, as he's known by his supporters, wrote a long article in the Guardian newspaper. In it, he called on the British government to help disadvantaged children by actively combating food insecurity. The English winger considers food insecurity to be an epidemic. This message was very successful as the British government agreed to provide free food aid to children in need until August. An initiative that went viral, but in September, the government cut the food and the problem inevitably resurfaced. Marcus Rashford demanded that this aid be extended until the Easter holidays of 2021. This request was refused by the country's politicians. But Marcus does not despair, and as a good striker, his determination to reverse the trend is intact and even strengthened. He's going to use his social networks, especially Twitter, to get all possible addresses, restaurants, supermarkets or shops that would be willing to offer meals to disadvantaged children. A gesture that will move a whole country since many supporters, football clubs like Liverpool or Everton, as well as singing stars like the members of the group Coldplay will donate several thousand euros to the food bank. All this will lead to a decisive victory in the cause defended by the native of Wivenshaw. After collecting more than one million signatures on his petition, the British government changed its position and granted more than 450 million euros in aid. This was a victory for Rashford, a decision that will help the lives of 1.7 million British children, says Rashford. An exemplary commitment that has been publicly rewarded. First of all, Sir Alex Ferguson, the charismatic manager of Manchester United, paid him a vibrant tribute. Apart from his football life, what he's achieved in the last few months is quite astonishing. How he's helped the people in need is a truly amazing achievement. And I'd like to congratulate him on that. He's shown to young people in particular that there's a different way of dealing with life. Marcus Rashford is now on football's blacklist, which highlights the positive influence of the black community in the UK. As a symbol of a movement that has met with popular success, the young Englishman has been made a member of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II. This is a fine mark of recognition for a 23-year-old player who never ceases to excite observers. However, Marcus Rashford remains true to himself and qualifies the numerous praises he's received. The real superheroes in this country are in the heart of most towns and villages, working tirelessly to help the most vulnerable across the UK. Marcus Rashford is well aware of the task ahead and is not short of effort. He'll soon be launching a book club and a book collection to tackle literacy. Further proof that footballers can use their fame in a positive way to get involved in humanitarian causes to make a difference. More than a player, more than a star, Marcus Rashford is an inspiration to a whole generation. 
Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you, to like it, and to share it. Do you think there are enough players like Rashford who are involved in humanitarian and community work? Give us your opinion in the comments. See you soon for a new video. Ciao!